In this video, we shall talk about checklists and some ideas on how to create good checklists. Let's start with the definition. Yes, checklist is a simple set of ideas. In software testing, it's a set of ideas on how to test something. Usually checklists come first before test cases, because it's kind of draft of further activities. Because writing checklists uh, is relatively fast and simple. And when your checklists are ready and usually reviewed by your colleagues, then uh, each item from checklist may become one or several test cases. Let's review an example. Yes, this is the famous task, the triangle task by Glenford Myers. Please take a pause, pause the video and read this task. Then write down your own ideas on how to test such program. Only then unpause the video and see the next slide. This is the answer from Glenford Myers. Yes, this is a checklist. As you see, the first three points test the main idea of this software. These three points test if this software really detects those three types of triangles. And uh, in this particular case, uh, we have to check all three combinations. Then we go to some more specific cases, like uh, one side equals zero or less than zero. Then we check sum of two sides equals two or less than third. And then we go with some more specific uh, cases, like non-integers, non-numbers, invalid numbers, and so on. This is a good checklist, because it has some kind of examples here. It follows logic, important first, not important next. It really does not contain anything unnecessary here. And by the way, check your attentiveness. Did you notice that uh, the eighth point is absent here? Speaking about ideas on how to write good checklists, we shall start with two rather simple ones. The first is to write down your checklists in order not to forget anything and to share your ideas with colleagues and to easily reuse the data because it's really impossible to keep in your mind all those points, especially when you have a lot of checklists and you have big checklists. And the second idea is to start with simple something because one of the most common mistakes for beginners in software testing is that they start testing something rare, some unusual conditions. Okay, that's also good, but usually we shall start with rather simple basic tests, follow simple basic functionality. So how to write good checklists? How to think while writing good checklists? The first approach is to split your application, your system into parts, sub-parts, sub-sub-parts, and so on, and write a checklist for each of those parts. The second good idea is to follow some scenarios or actions of end users. It's good uh, because the user uses the application with some scenarios, and we shall check those scenarios. The next idea is to follow something from the subject matter, because in each application, there is something specific related to the subject matter. If we know those specifics, we put them in checklists. The next good idea is uh, to follow some testing objectives and quality criteria, because if we know what to look for, what to pay attention to, of course, we may reflect it in checklists. And there are two approaches that are not so good. Of course, they may exist, but uh, writing checklists by requirements or by interface, why is uh, it not so good? Because when we just follow some requirements or some interface, we tend to forget about those good criteria, those scenarios, those actions, those parts of the application. If we do not forget, if we use both these ideas and that ideas, it's okay, but if we only use these ideas, it's not okay. So try not to forget about those good approaches and use these approaches only as the additional ones.